rest of this video that I look a hot mess. I am stumbling on my words and I am rushing a bit because I was reminded what time it was and what we're doing through the day and I realized I should have started a little bit earlier, I guess. I don't know. So I felt bad. So then I was like rushing. I was freaking out. I was like stumbling on my words. It's, it's a mess. So this video is going to be a mess, but I'm still going to upload it because I do not think I have enough time to refilm it before my first classes start. So I would like to film a vlog or like my first week of classes vlog, but I'm feeling like I might not be able to because I have four classes on Monday, two on Tuesday, three on, no, 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 three on Monday, two on Wed Tuesday, four on Wednesday, and I think it's three Thursday and Friday, something like this. I think Tuesday is the least, and everything else has three or four. And then I work Tuesday and Wednesday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and someone else asked me to pick up their shifts. So I don't know if I'm able to do it, the vlog or refilm this. So I'm sorry this is not the best video, but hopefully you guys still enjoy and stick around. I'll see you guys in the next clip slash video. So, I am going to film a really, really quick video before I go ahead and comb and wash my hair. I took out the braids. I'm feeling a little lazy to comb it, but I know I need to. There's certain parts where I don't think I need to, but towards the middle, definitely. So I'm going to do that and then wash my hair and whatnot. So I decided to do my December TBR and books that I'm bringing to college all in one video because some of them overlap and I don't feel like filming any more videos because I realize I have like 10 pre-filmed and scheduled right now. There's going to be this one plus one that's like 40 minutes long plus a vlog plus a challenge plus another vlog. I'm just like, I think I'm done. Which means if I schedule them all out properly, I should be good until March. So yeah. So I'm just gonna get into the first books that I'm bringing, bringing, I mean, I'm reading for this, I'm just gonna get into the books that I plan to read for January. Two of them are physical and the rest are audiobooks or ebooks, which are going to be on my Libby account, I believe the book that is on Libby is called The Wallflower Rager by Tessa Dare. I believe her name is and then there's going to be oh I'm blanking on the title Christmas Shopaholic and the third first book of I'll just put pictures of the books in here because I can't remember the titles I'm like tired and I'm like all over the place so the first physical book that I'm bringing is the 10th anniversary anniversary edition of City and Bones by Cassandra Clare because I'm obviously, I've talked about it like 8 million times, I'm doing the Shadow Hunter read along next year. And so I'm bringing this with me. I plan to read this copy because it's the only copy I have. I do have an ebook, but I don't really want to read the ebook. I want to read the actual physical one. Because I think I've read the ebook all my life. So I think I'm going to do this. But if I do find a copy at like the used bookstore that's downtown, because a lot of their used books are like 75 cents. I'm going to read that instead. So I'm definitely going to check that out and see like what books for the read-along are available. Then I have um, an arc that I've already started. I did take a bit of a break from it because I have books coming in on Libby and I wanted to prioritize those because those have a due date and a long line. I did not want to wait for more months for it when I could just read that now and put this later. And that is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. It's an arc about Pepper and Jack. She is the daughter of a woman who owns a very popular like franchise. And then he is the son who's... I think he's going to... Of like a family-owned restaurant. I think he's going to be next to own it like when he gets older. And they have started to sell, I believe, grilled cheeses. And he's bit upset because he realized it's kind of like a ripoff of theirs and so they start like a twitter war about like who's the best and things like that and turns out they actually go to the same school but they do not they know each other in real life but they didn't know who the other person is online if that makes sense which is a pretty popular trope that i enjoy so hopefully this is really good and follows other books that i enjoy english 
So the next books are also physicals, but they are not specifically for January. I decided I do not want to have a lot of books to read. And also I do not want to have a big TBR throughout the year because... When did I go back to school? The 6th. I go back to school on the 6th and I end that semester like April 20th-ish, like the finals. And I am working and as of right now, I have a bit of like not really 2020 goals but more like one to five year goals for example like passing majority of my classes um moving out transferring schools getting apartment things like that so i'm like i'm trying to because for a while i didn't really know what i wanted to do by myself I've always been dependent like oh i'll be with my family it's fine or like when i was dating my previous person i always imagined myself with them i never really had an answer for myself so now that i'm like now that we're not together anymore and that I'm in college, you know, always asking, what are you doing after college? I don't know. So I feel like the last few months of 2019 and next year, are going to be a lot of figuring out what I want to do, who I want to be, where I want to go, and getting things done. I got things I didn't want to do. So I wanted to focus more on life and a little less on books. But knowing me, I'm going to do the exact opposite. So two of these or physical books for the Shadow Hunter read along, which is Clockwork Angel and City of Ashes. I do not have City of Glass and City of Fallen Angels. Like, I don't own a copy yet, so I'm thinking of again checking out that used bookstore and Libby and a thrift store, maybe even ordering online because I would like to own my own copies as well as read them. And then these last three of books I've already talked about before because I had them at my dorm at first. Then I brought them here to read throughout break, but I did not end up reading them. And that is Queen of the Conquer, the Arc and Final, and Hot Dog Girl. I'm not going to read both. I'm just going to read one in January. Oh, am I going to read it in January? I don't know. I might not read it in January. It might be more like later on. I haven't decided if I want to bring the Arc or the final. I was going to do the final because you know it's the last edits and um, it has more words and stuff but I was going to do the arc because I feel like the arc is a bit more special. I haven't really decided yet but I plan to read those soon. And then Hot Dog Girl obviously I've talked about before. It was on my TBR like three times so I haven't read it. Um, those are all the physical books. Everything else like I said that are ebooks or audiobooks I'll put in pictures of that like in somewhere like I said, I don't want to bring a lot of physical books because I'm not going to read them. It's a lot easier for me to pick up audiobooks like while I'm working and stuff. So, yeah, I do have a few books that's already at the dorm, so I'll probably talk about those in like a vlog or something. I might do like a first week of spring semester vlogs, so we'll have to see. But, yeah, sorry for this being like really fast, really short, no description or anything, but like I've already talked about all of these like 8 million times. And I didn't want to like bore you with the details again. And I'm a bit of a rush to get some things done. So yeah. If you'd like an update on like how my reading is going. Continue to check out my Goodreads, my Twitter, and this channel. Because I will be talking about these throughout the semester. And hopefully throughout the year I can keep up with this read along. And read a bunch of these. And like finish it. Because that's one of my bigger goals. I do plan to make a personal goals like I do have 2020 reading goals video up but I want more like a personal goals goals to go go more into depth about the things that I plan to do next year so if you want to see that stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video